enjoy this. I'm just, uh... Uh, apparently they started doing this patch just a couple of months ago. So far, I think they said they are 95% done with Stan's side. Uh, they're going to be working on Leon's side later, so fan of the the infamous Bishonen that's got a DLC costume in like every Tales game after this. <laughs> then uh, you might want to wait a little bit, but if you want to play the main the main component of the game, which is the uh, Stan side, you can pretty much jump in right now. Now I haven't played that much. Been really busy with punishing Grey Raven and making content for that. But <laughs> figured I'd uh, signal boost. I went in their Discord and they said they wanted people to uh, signal boost for them, so I figured. I'm relatively known for my Tales content. Awkward playing this at the beginning because they don't give you uh, they don't give you manual mode for a while. Interestingly enough, like going back and playing this game, you could find me uh, playing this game like back when it came out back in like 2008. Is <laughs> they didn't really recycle these sprites that much. Uh, they did use them for Tales of Hearts on DS, but that's basically it. You look back at, like, uh, the Abyss Monsters. The, the Abyss Monsters are still recycled to this day, like, 15 years later. They made some beautiful sprites in these games, but they didn't really, uh, use them. <laughs> so if you like G Gundam, this is a good game to play because it's got the... This was the first game to have the CC system, so it's not as uh, not as good as like Zelia. I would argue Zelia and uh, the Vita remakes had the best implementation of CC. Here you have minimum and maximum CC, and it can take a really long time before you can chain a bunch of them together. Races was the the game to use CC after this, and that pretty much had the same problem. Later on, you get more ways to get CC back. That does help. Okay, I gotta do the infamous fireball. This was a pretty much uh, completely remade battle system aside from having the LMBS, so it does start off pretty slow from what I remember. It takes a long time to get going. <laughs> One thing that's a little bit polarizing this game compared to other Tales games is that this is one of the last ones to have random encounters. There's always been a uh, fire taste. Nice they make it pretty easy to get holy bottles later on, so it's not that much of an issue. I guess the reason for that was they're not using 3D models anymore, so they didn't want to draw, like, four different directions for every sprite to have them on the field. That's probably why this game has random encounters. Tails was almost completely transitioned to uh, 3D only at this time. There were only a couple other uh, 
2D LMBS games past this point in the Anari Kiri Dungeon X game, and then you had Tales of Hearts R. Not Tales of Hearts R, but Tales of Hearts R. Definitely does get pretty in the way. Uh, you can't get through things right now. So if you're wondering how to install this, uh, I'm going to post a link to their their site in the description. Urayama eiku nara hantai gawa da. They give you holy bottles at the beginning. Definitely a pretty rough starting this at the beginning because you have no manual mode and you have no holy bottles. Really stuck with the random encounters. Definitely one of the more awkward things about playing this game compared to the recent Even if this game has a pretty good LMBS, I think the best LMBS game is probably, uh, at least in my opinion, would be. Celia 2 and the meter remakes in terms of overall mechanics. Six move slots as well. <laughs> if they ever brought this game back, they remastered it, I think that's definitely one thing they would have to address. Having six move slots really limits you. Good old buckling kid. that's really nice about this game that other Tales games don't have the, the penetrate bar. When you fight a boss, uh, it actually tells you how many times you need to hit them for those stagger. And I feel that's something that's been missing in a lot of the, a lot of the more recent Tales games where they just randomly walk out of combos and get hyper armor. For no rhyme or reason. It's actually really cool how just, just showing you the number of how many hits you need to do. I think I played through this game twice. It definitely really enhanced things. You could hit them with like a machine can or Hayate or something. You know, to do like three, three points of penetrate and go there. Way better than just hitting them and hoping, hoping that they'll stagger. That's just a problem with Tails battle systems in general. <laughs> Don't know how to balance you, like, being able to actually combo the enemies and not making it feel, uh, like you don't have a lot of control over it. Don's pretty weak at the beginning. He's not like uh other tail's protagonist like Luger. <laughs> Boy's gotta work for his, his badass stuff. He doesn't get it handed to him. Though so a lot of that is just because of the uh the way the CC system works in this game compared to later iterations of that mechanic. Yes, 
張していくぞ。Actually, looks pretty good. Pretty good uh, upscaled. I think I have it at like 1080p right now. Hayaku, uchi no naka ni hairo. Togi. Alright, I'm not gonna be doing a let's play for this because I've already played it. <laughs> This is a pretty long game, definitely, I think, I remember it being one of the longer Tales games. Here we go. Alright, I think actually there is a good stopping point. I actually have to head into uh, a kitty sitting job soon. Uh, if you've got a copy of this game, uh, however you've managed to get it, it is pretty easy to patch. I'm gonna go ahead and link to page. Uh, I think the official launch stream is supposed to be on the 15th, if I remember correctly. But if you want to try the game now and you have it, you have some for it, you can go ahead and patch it. It won't take more than a few minutes. Uh, PCSX, PCSX2, and that's hard to say, <laughs> is relatively easy to set up unless you're trying to do stuff like uh, patch games with codes to make them run above their frame rate. Uh, there are some games that people infamously want to run at a higher frame rate, like the Kingdom Hearts games, people want to run a higher frame rate, but now that those are available legally on PC, that's not much of an issue, but games like God Hand and stuff, if you're trying to do stuff like that, it can be a bit intimidating, but PCSX2 is pretty easy to set up, as long as you just have the BIOS, so you point things to the right places, you make the memory card, file, set up your controller. I'm playing this with my 8 Pro 2, and it didn't take much to set up the uh, I definitely recommend playing this game, there are some aspects of it that have not aged well. But you have to remember the time this game was made, they were starting to experiment with the LMBS a lot more, kind of reducing the, the necessity to have TP as the only way to look at how many times you can cast things. Uh, this is the first game with the CC system, so if you're expecting it to be as refined as, say, Zelia 2, even Zelia 1, the, the Vita remakes where everything only costs one point and you get it back way faster, uh, you're going to be disappointed. But if you were able to get through Tales of Graces, which has pretty much the same CC system as it does, and uh, it's not going to be that much of an adjustment. You're just going to have to realize that it does start slow. There is no great shop and stuff like that. <laughs> this is one of the last Team Destiny games, so uh, a lot of their design decisions that it, it may not vibe with everybody, but I definitely do think this is one of the best Tales games, and I definitely did play this in Japanese, knowing a little bit myself, so uh, that's definitely a testament to its quality. Anyway, keep an eye on their uh, their Discord and their YouTube channel, and go ahead and download the patch for yourself. Okay. Thanks for watching.